Hey guys, Greg here, and let's solve 2 sum 2, where the input array is sorted. It's a really interesting problem. I, I like it a lot. So we're given a one indexed array of integers numbers. It doesn't really change anything. It's just the way that they're expressing it in the problem that is already sorted in non-decreasing order. Non-decreasing basically just means increasing, but there might be duplicates. So we'll find two numbers such that they add up to a specific target number. Okay, same as 2 sum. And so basically, we need to return the indices of the two numbers, index 1 and index 2. And since they're doing one indexed, you add one here. You just need to find the two numbers that sum up to the target and return their indices added by one. The tests are generated such that there is exactly one solution. So you don't need to worry about the case where there's, you know, no two numbers that sum to the solution. But this time we must use only constant extra space. Okay, if you remember how the normal two sum works, and they actually have the same example here, what you would do is you would use a hash map where you make the key be the number and the value be the index so that you can kind of look up the number that you're looking for. However, you can't do that here because you must use constant space. Okay, you can only just have you know, some pointers, some indices or whatever. And so how does this work? Well, this only works and it's only possible because the numbers are sorted here. Now the brute force method that's going to be O of n squared time is actually going to be a constant space solution. So you could look at all the different pairs. We'd have I starting at here, J over here, and we could move J through. So we'd have a total of six. That's not right. 11, not right. We could have 12. 12, nope, 16, nope, 26, that did not work. You would set I to be over here and you would start J here and you'd say, okay, 15, that doesn't work. 16, nope, 20, nope, 30, nope. So then here you'd start to find it. We have I is right here, J is here and immediately you would find these two. And so that is actually a constant space solution. However, O of N squared runtime is really, really slow. And so you're not gonna use that. Now, when the problem says something about it being sorted and we don't do anything with it being sorted, you know, we're probably not being optimal here. So how do we use this sorted? Well, it's actually by using a two pointer technique. Okay, so we set L over here, L at the beginning and R at the end. Okay, so we're calling this a two pointer technique. If you have it like this, they're usually gonna go in towards each other. Now, what are we looking for? We want two numbers that sum to 21. Well, we have a number one, we have our other number 25. We could get their sum and that's 26. Now this sum is wrong, but it's not just wrong. It is specifically too big. What is the only way to make this better, okay? Well, if we move L forward, we know that the numbers are increasing, or at least they might be increasing. They're never decreasing. So if we move L forward, we know beforehand, we know that that's not gonna help. That's going to make a bigger sum, but we need our sum to be smaller. We need to get our sum closer to 21. So what do we do? Okay, well, to make the sum smaller, well, we're going to move R over, okay? So that 25 turns into 15, and we say, okay, well, nope, it's still wrong, except now now it's wrong in a different way. 16 is too small. We need a bigger sum. How do we make it bigger? Well, it's sorted in increasing order. We'd move this over. And so one turns into a five. And so this is 20. Okay, we're getting really close now. Our sum is still too small. It's still smaller than 21. So what do we do? We move L forward again, try to make it bigger. Nope, now it's too big at this point. We need our sum to be smaller. How do we do that? Well, we move R over of 21. Okay, so we found it. And remember, as part of the problem, we're guaranteed to find it. So we finally found it. We'd return these two indices, which are going to be, since we're calling it one indexed, we would return three and four in this case. Now the time complexity of this is going to be big O of n because we're really just moving once through the array over here. We're moving once through the array over here. And so that's just going to be big O of n. And the space complexity of this, well, we're just using two pointers. We have L at the beginning, R at the end. They move over. We'd, you know, calculate a sum. That's just one variable. And so that space complexity will be O of one. So we can code this. Okay, so for this, we get n is the length of the numbers that we have so that we can get our position L at the beginning, L is equal to zero, and our other pointer R at n minus one. Yes, I'm calling them pointers. No, we're not using C. They're really just indices, but that's the terminology. L is zero, R is n minus one. And we do, hey, while L is less than R, you could technically do this permanently because, you know, we're actually guaranteed that there's going to be a solution. So we don't have to worry about kind of breaking out of this and not finding it, but something that makes a lot of sense is like, you know, you do this while L is less than R anyway. And so we'd get our current sum that we have, that's equal to simply numbers at L plus numbers at R. Then if the sum is equal to the target, we can immediately return our answer. We found it. And so we'd return L and R, except because of this annoying one index thing. I don't know why they did that, but you should return L plus one and R plus one. So if we found it, that's great. We will find it eventually. But if not, well, otherwise, is the 
sum less than the target, okay? If our sum is smaller than the target, that means we need to make our sum bigger. How do we make our sum bigger? We move L forward because they're sorted in increasing order. If the sum is not equal to the target and it's not less than the target, then it must be that the sum is bigger than the target. If the sum is too big, we need to make the sum smaller. How do we make it smaller? We bring R down by one. And again, since we're actually guaranteed exactly one solution, we can actually just run and submit this right away. And again, the time complexity of this is going to be big O of N and the space complexity as is required in the question is going to be constant. We just have N, L and R and we get a sum at some point. It's definitely constant space. All right, so that's it. I hope that was helpful guys. Drop a like if it was and have a great day. Bye-bye.